Hey guys, welcome to day 10 of the 100 day project working with abstract florals. And today I'm going mixed media crazy. I was heavily and heavily influenced by Amy Bishop on here on YouTube and on Instagram. And she has some amazing videos. When I found her, I just binged her and watched videos over and over. Go check her out. You will not regret it. Um, and then come back over here and tell me how right I am. <laughs> so anyways, I did some collage papers and I am just pulling some stuff that um, I think I want to go with. I'm looking at kind of blues and grays, maybe with a touch of yellow. And so I'm just going to pull out some papers here that, you know, I might use and I might not use. I use just a few of them. So um, pretty much just what you see there. I am taking some matte gel medium. You can use a glue stick. You can use Mod Podge. You can, I guess you could use a dry medium, like a, um, a glue runner. Um, I don't know. The matte gel medium sticks really well, like Mod Podge. Um, it's, I'm trying to finish this one up. I'm almost done. So um, I think I've said before, but I am very hard, like yeah, trying to use up my supplies. And I am literally almost done with this bottle, which is crazy. I, I don't know how many years maybe that I've had it. When I was young, my dad would not use a lot of stuff because he wanted to treasure it. So he loved handkerchiefs. I know they're, I mean, I like them now, but just the thought of having a handkerchief anyways. Um, and I would buy him handkerchiefs and he wouldn't use them because he wanted them to stay perfect. And I had that for a lot of years where I didn't want to use my stuff because I wanted it to just last forever. And the truth is it didn't really bring me that much joy. It actually brings me so much more joy to be able to enjoy it. And so that's something that I'm trying this year. I've been working on it for the last few years, but this year I'm really trying to use everything that I have and just enjoy it and find love in it. And um, now I don't know if I will do that with books that I get and for the purpose of using them for this. And then I get sentimental and I feel like, oh, I can't tear them up. So I'm not sure. And actually today at the used bookstore, I found the most amazing architecture book. And I um, I was telling the guy behind the counter, I was like, he asked me what I was using it for. And I said, art. And I said, but when I get it home, I might not want to tear it up. And I already feel like that. So I don't know, but um, I'll show it to you guys maybe in tomorrow's video so that you guys can enjoy it. Um, but it's so beautiful, just so beautiful. Anyway, so um, I added some of my handmade stamps, again, influenced by Amy, and then some gesso here on top. And that's just kind of to make it all fit together. I started to spread the gesso with my fingers, which kind of gives it more of a translucent but I like the way that the, the, oh, what is that thing called? <laughs> the palette knife. I like the way that the palette knife leaves like scrapes. And um, also you can add some marks in there. You can take the edge of it and just like leave lines down. And I love that. So I went in with a graphite um, crayon and I'm so impatient that the gesso had not dried. But that's okay. Um, so today, like I said, we're going mixed media crazy. I am going to pull out some acrylics. And I am just using, you know, $2 acrylics from uh, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, wherever. Um, I think they're American Crafts. I, I have a variety of different brands that I use. And I picked out a pink, an orange, a green, and like an olive how about an olive green and a yellow? <laughs> and I'm just going to try to stick to these colors to um, to paint the flower that I have here. And um, 
as you can see, there's not much thought process going on. I'm just adding um, um, on that one. I realized that it was a little too bright for my taste. And so I was, it's actually too orange. And um, so I decided to just try to thin it out with some water, which is what's great about acrylics is that you can thin them out with water and they have more of a watercolor effect on them. But I know that I want a little bit more pink because my reference photo is pink. It had like a salmon-y, like orangey undertone, but I want the pink. And when I'm done, I realize that the pink is a little bit too bright. So I end up adding some gesso with my palette knife again, just to give it that kind of rough texture. And um, it blends in with the gesso that's in the background. And I really love the effect. The other thing I do is yesterday I had my permanent marker. But today, as soon as this dries, I am going to um, actually first I'm going to use some pastels to add the little buds on top of that middle piece, but I'm going to take my pilot pen and I am going to just add a border around it to make it stand out. And then with my palette knife, I'm just going to scrape it around. And just like yesterday, I am going to use my watercolors in a kind of a dark blue to add my background again to make it just stand out off of the page and you can still see some of the the papers that we laid down before the collage but um it kind of you don't lose them it just adds to it i don't know but um anyway so i hope you enjoyed uh, this mixed media take and not just watercolor and I will let you enjoy the rest of the process with some music and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.